Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Kanasty390 here. Welcome back to another episode of Tampa Bay Rays Franchise Rebuild, episode number 10. We are in the spring of March, or March of 2022, season number four. I'm I'm expecting like the playoffs this year. We had a nice turn last year, just missed the playoffs by a few games, 83 wins. We were able to add Otani, kept Paxton. That's what the team's looking like. We actually want to make sure uh, Herrera's here here and Givens is here uh one of you guys mentioned in the live stream don't make sure only have one setup guy that's the best way to get the innings set up in your bullpen correctly and i forgot to show this last video the top prospects uh frank holden number three but he is on the major league team he's our leadoff hitter so he'll be lost off the list wyatt kern our catcher is at six by the way here's that second baseman they pass off in the draft he's the number four prospect in baseball so yeah we screwed that up kozar is at 14 starting pitcher Miles at 24, Tom Hong at 26, Travis Cola closer at 31, and I think that's it. Yep, yeah, that is it. So let's start the simulation, boys. Hopefully we can have a good year. Right now we are off to a pretty good start. Oh, we're off to a really good start. That was a nice little wing streak. Orioles interested in a trade. Ooh, a, a potential. Oh, he's 25 for a Travis Cole. No, at 25. I mean, I saw the A potential and I caught my attention but when he's 25 and he's like a 60 something overall yeah I, i'm not gonna wait <laughs> by the time he's like ready to be like a big leader he's gonna be like 41 years old he'll be like julio franco we are off to a great start we're 36 and 20 we're at the draft we have the number 17 pick in round one the first pick of the competitive bounce round a we have the 16th pick in the second round and then the 17th pick moving forward so all right first Round 17th pick. Uh, let's see. There's a starting pitcher, 23 years old. Uh, some more. Do we have anyone who's like a green? All right, but he's five years away at least. Same with this guy. All right, so not really anyone who's... A, so we may not get like a, a home run pick. But that's all right. Um, Caruso, a starting pitcher. That's an interesting one. I might do that. Yeah, let's do that. Caruso. From Venezuela. 20 years old. Could be right in a couple years. Potentially 80 potential. Did I just say potentially 80 potential? I did. That's, that's a lot. Oh, let's take a closer in this extra pick we get. I mean, he's 23, but if he's like a stud, it's all right. I don't want to take it with our first pick. Especially if it's like, like the first pick in the draft. Ooh, another starter who's only 18. Let's take him. Could, they say he could be ready next year. I'm not buying that, but let's take a chance on him. He's only 18. Even if he's not ready for a couple years, he's only 18. <laughs> if he's ready in four years, he's 22. Um, this guy's a project. He's already 21. Uh, a shortstop could be... He's eight. He's 24, excuse me. But he could have 75 and 80 power. I, I got to take a chance on that. I mean, he could be like a bench bat for us. He, he wouldn't start over Correa, but I mean, dude, if you got like 80... If you have like 90 power as a shortstop, yeah, that's there's there's value in that. Um, looks like moving forward, we're gonna have to just take shots in dark. The second baseman, I mean, this guy could have 80 power versus left, 70 versus right, only 70 potential, but so that's like a B at best. But let's take a chance on that. I mean, if the bat plays, the bat plays, even if it's a C potential, he could be a big leaguer. Um, I guess we'll take a chance on the youngest guy here, Luke Chavez, a starter. Shot in the dark, and we'll do that in the sixth round as well. Just take the highest potential guy and hope we hit a home run with it, you know? Um, and we're going to ooh, Montana or Heinrich? Heinrich's from Pennsylvania, Montero's from the Netherlands. Let's take Heinrich, the German, or German descent, I should say. All right. Let's see how we did in the draft. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. Um, just remember, we don't have like a high, high pick, so we aren't expecting to get an A. 89 potential from that starter is definitely not bad. Now, if you guys ever get a, an amazing draft you want to kind of show it off, you can tweet it at me. My Twitter is knasty 30 and I have a link to that in, this, in the description of this video and every video I make. So if you want to kind of show that off, you're more than welcome to. This reliever has 87 potential as closer. That's fine. Um, Bowman, that 18-year-old, only 76 potential. 71 for uh, Craig Aiken. I mean, look at the bat. 70 and 72 power. He has 15 durability. But next year, I think this guy could be... I think next year, he will be on our team, our major league team. He will be a bench back. He'll be a backup. 70 plus power. 
the fact he has low durability kind of plays to the fact that like yeah he can't play every day but he can hit he can mash home runs uh doug drams that was a bad pick d potential uh luke chavez b potential that's not bad and then we got a 72 with heinrich to finish off the draft so there's that let's take a look to see how the team is doing otani's great a 276 era paxton's great bounce back year a 239 era faria 469 uh, Groom at 3.45, and Pineda is a 3.77. Weber's pitching great as a long man. Weiss is doing great. Givens is a little down. Douglas has been great. Barnes has been fine. Herrera's been fine. So our pitching looks great. Uh, Frank Holden's hitting over 300. Only four home runs, but he's not a big power guy. He's, a, he's an average guy. So that's great to see. LeMay is only hitting 257. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if he turns that around. Correa, 327. Only 15 home runs, but 327. Slugging is down a little bit. Smoke is struggling. McCoy, uh, McKay's kind of struggling. Moustakis is as well. Uh, I might move up. Don's actually doing better average-wise. Malik Smith, I might move with LeMahieu, but we'll give him a little bit more time. Uh, Prospect-wise, we Wyatt Kern's down number three. He's shooting up that board. That is nice to see. Anyone else? Kozar, this 18-year-old, is doing well. That's nice to see. Miles and Hong are on there. Um, let's see what standing wise, where are we at? We are not winning the division. We're two and a half behind the Red Sox. But we are winning the wild card by what we got a three, we got a four game lead over the Blue Jays, so good start to the season. Keep winning some games, boys. As we lose like we haven't won a game in a oh my god, win some we've won like two games in a month. Alright, there we go. Now we're winning some games. Royals are interested in trade. Cam Gallagher. Do you, I don't want this dude. I don't want Cam Gallagher. You offered it to me like years ago, and I never wanted the guy. Oh, we were doing well, and then we played the Red Sox, who are like a buzz kill right now. Reds are interested in a trade. Uh, see potential for a C. They offer these so much. Would you like this marginal prospect for your marginal prospect? Nah, man, I'm good. <laughs> I'll keep my marginal prospect. There's no reason to switch them. All right, come on. Let's finish strong this month. All right, we're at the trade deadline. We're 61-44, and 44, which is great. But we are third. Look at this division. is stacked. <laughs> we're the second team in the wild card, but I don't feel comfortable with that. Let's take a look to see how our team is doing. LeMay, who's doing a little bit better. Franklin's struggling a little bit. Smoke is struggling. McKay is doing okay. Let's move Malik Smith up to the number two spot. Let's do that. Yeah, let's put Smith there. Pitching, Otani, fine. Far, okay, I mean, we don't have a bad pitcher. <laughs> the problem is, it's Givens is kind of struggling this year. But I bet he'll turn it around. He always does. Same with Douglas. Um, how about in the minors? Who's do, anyone doing well in the minors pitching? Oops, I have Cole in the... I want Cole in the bullpen. Hong is an 81. Same as Small, but there's no, like, need, really. I might move on from Faria soon, but, I mean, he's fine. And Weber as a long man is fine. Just win some games, bro. Oh, jeez. And we're playing... All right, come on. We got to beat the teams in our division because... They're the teams that are right on our heels, but we're having a terrible month of August. But if we have a good month of September, it's a moot point. See where we're at right now. So we are the third team in the AL East. We're the second team in the wild card. Game. We're the number one team. Like, like if you take other rankings, they say we're the number one team. We've built the best team in baseball. Just we gotta win, win some games. All right, we don't play anyone in the division in this stretch. Let's see how we do. All right, we are now. Let's see how long is this video? The video's not that long. It's only like nine minutes long. All right, so we're doing pretty good on that. We are technically in a tie with the Orioles. <laughs> Orioles and Blue Jays. Do we play them on this home stretch? Uh, the stretch right now. Orioles, Yankees, Red Sox, and then Toronto. Oh my goodness. Oh, we swept them. All right, let's see. Right now, we're a two-and-a-half game lead over the Orioles for that. I just want... If we're a wild card team, I'm perfectly content with that. I don't think we're going to catch the Red Sox. I, I don't think it's possible. We play the Blue Jays and then the Yankees. Let's just win two out of three. Or we lost. All right, come on. 
Are we in the playoffs? We are in the playoffs. We won one of the wild card games. I don't. I mean, one of the wild card spots. I don't think we can get the home game in it. Yep, we're not. We're gonna be in Toronto. But I don't care. We made the playoffs, guys. Let's take a look to see how we did and then get this team figured out. So Otani is going to be our ace, then Paxton. And then, yeah, then we'll figure it out from there. Weber's our long man. We got Weiss did well. Givens, Douglas kind of struggled. Barnes did really well. Herrera did great as our closer. He might have been closer of the year. Um, our lineup, Frank Holden, 282. Not bad for a rookie, 282. And he improved a lot. 14 home runs, 32 stolen bases, even though he only has 76 speed and 55 stealing. So that's not bad. His war was at a 4.8. That's very good for a 23-year-old rookie, Malik Smith. Correa, 317 average, 41 home runs. Wow, smoke. 26 home runs, average was down, but 26 bombs. I think he was, this is the last year of his contract, so we'll move on from him. McKay will be our first baseman, or we'll get a new first baseman, DH moving forward. McKay. Power was down, average was down, but still a very good year. Mustakis, 281, 24 home runs. There's LeMahieu, Aflaro, uh, Alfaro, excuse me, 249 average, did hit 14 bombs. Jim Dunn, ah, there we go, 21 home runs out of the number nine spot. That's not bad. So there's the team. We can take a look at awards real quick. Chris Sale got MVP and probably Cy Young. Donaldson got the batting title. Damn, 351. Ken Giles got the reliever of the year. We got Rookie of the Year with Frank Holden. Back-to-back years, Rookie of the Year. Pat on the back for us. That's building that farm system. Hank Aaron Award went to Correa. Uh, Gold Glove, Alfaro, LeMayu. Anyone else? Nope. Silver Slugger, Correa, and that's it. So we can take a look at the National League now. Goldie got MVP. Kershaw got Cy Young. Seager got the batting title. Archie Bradley got 64 saves. That's pretty good. He got it three straight years, reliever of the year. Joe Hudson, rookie of the year. That's He's a 30-year-old rookie who hit 229 11 home runs. Were there not better options? <laughs> Hank Aaron Ward went to Goldschmidt. Uh, any, well, any guys that we... Ooh, there's Okuna. 92 overall. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. This one is actually pretty short. I guess we can end it. Bef- before we end it, we can look at top prospects, see where we ended up with current number two prospect in baseball, guys. I still think he's probably one year away. One more year in the minor- minors, then we'll call him up. What else do we have? Kozar is now at 14 for this guy, so that's good. Hong is at 20. I'm not sure. I mean, he's 82 overall. He like has to be on a major league team next year. I'm just not sure if it'll be ours. We'll figure that out. That's a future video. In the next video, guys, will be us doing the playoffs. If you don't know how we do the playoffs in this, we do like the manage of the game, where basically um, it's like a five minute. It takes up to five minutes to do the game. You do like uh, batter by batter. Now, if we're in the wild card game and we lose that, we'll just do the off season in the same video. But if we get do like a playoff run that lasts like 10 to 15 minutes, that will be the full video. If it's like one game and we lose. Then we'll just do the offseason in the same video. Um, but I think that will end this video, guys. Uh, this is a nice... Like, we, we are on our like goal of building this team. To, I, I don't want to just win one title. I want to build a dynasty. It sounds like we're... Or it looks like we're doing it. We have some big prospects. We have a ton of depth in the rotation. We got we got an ace in Otani. We got a MVP in Correa. Not this year. But I like our team, guys. We'll see how we do in the playoffs, though. That's how it, I mean, it doesn't matter how we do in the regular season. We got to win the playoffs. So that will be the next episode, boys. I hope you did enjoy it. Please drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.